Forget Lady Gaga and her egg. The biggest splash on TV last week. This is Jeopardy! Was made by a game show contestant. Ladies and gentlemen, Ken Jennings and Brad Rutter. No, not these guys. This guy. Seems to have a split personality. Who is Hyde? Hyde, yes. Watson. IBM supercomputer, which took on two of Jeopardy's all-time champs and crushed them in a man versus machine matchup, which carried some scary implications. I, for one, welcome our new computer overlord. <laughs> no matter how much we chuckled about them. In the world of artificial intelligence, Watson is a superstar, able to understand language with all its nuances and sift through 200 million pages of content in three seconds to figure out complicated Jeopardy Watson. clues. Who is Jean Valjean? Correct. It helps us appreciate our brains, our cognition, how we solve problems, and how incredible the human mind and the human body is. But IBM's engineers and computer scientists didn't develop Watson simply to dominate game shows. Job one for Watson may be health care. IBM has partnered with two hospitals and is now testing Watson to see how the computer would deal with patients. Watson is answering medical questions as quickly and with the same level of confidence uh, that it answered a lot of those hard Jeopardy questions. Dr. Herbert Chase says the information explosion in modern medicine threatens to overload doctors, making them less effective. Watson can go find information that will directly impact on your understanding of the patient's diagnosis. One goal is to reduce diagnostic mistakes, which account for 15 to 25 percent of medical errors, according to some research. We are never going to replace physicians, for example. Um, the, the, the human brain is, you know, uh, is unassailable. In other words, while a computer could one day make even Alex obsolete on Jeopardy, Good luck, Watson. when it comes to health care, the thinking is the human doctor will always be in. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.